In this video, I'll be showing you how to play my main deck for this Clash Royale Season End. Alright guys, we're in the first match. So today we're playing Goblin Drill. This will be the deck that I'm going to be using pretty much the whole rest of this season. I think it's so broken right now, especially the Demolisher synergizes so well with Goblin Drill. It's like a bomber except quite a bit more beefy and it survives quite a few more things. And also it's just really good on offense, I feel like. Alright, so Valkyrie's never too good to see, but honestly with Evo Drill you can pretty much beat anything. I feel like there used to be quite a few Drill counter decks, but now with Demolisher and just the Evo Drill, you can pretty much have a chance against anything. Oh, it's Lava Hound. Okay, this will be one of the worst matchups, because we only have Tesla to target air. This used to be a good matchup when Little Prince was in the deck, because then you add a couple air cards, but we only have Tesla, so I guess we just have to try to be really aggressive. And that'll be our only way to win. Okay, I'm going to go for the drill here, then also the demolisher at the bridge. You can pretty freely spam the demolishers at the bridge in most matchups. We'll see if he defends here. Okay, he's trying to at least. Should be a lot of damage though. Ooh, beautiful demolisher. Look at those goblins go. Alright, not too bad. So here we just have to pull the Inferno Dragon out a bit so we can actually get a Tesla off here to snipe it instead of the Lava Hound. I know he's going to go for a Void here, so we have to try to get our Knight down. Knight! What are you doing? Oh, he failed the zap! Nice! Yes, our tower's gonna kill the Inferno Dragon. <laughs> okay, you know what? A misplay for a misplay. <laughs> I'll take it. I guess overall we should be okay now. We can poison here. If he tries to go for a balloon, we do have our Tesla pretty much back already, so... Okay, I think we do get out of this somehow. <laughs> okay, I thought I just died, but... Yeah, we're fine. I'll demolish her. It should take tower unless he responds to it, so... This shouldn't be too bad for us here. Okay, that is a plus one for him, but at least he's going to have a bit less elixir for the big push. We do have our Evo Tesla now, which could be pretty good. Okay, I don't know how we're going to defend here. I think we just have to try to separate the balloon here from the hound. Guys, I feel like this play is so good, so underrated against Law Balloon. Nice, beautiful block here. Yeah, it's so underrated to separate the balloon from the Lava Hound when you're facing Lava Loon. Instead of going for a really early Tesla, try to go for your Tesla a little bit later sometimes to where it will target on the balloon directly. Okay, I think the Tesla should hopefully get on the Lava Pups here, not the Lava Hound. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. Alright, so we take the poison here. Um, I don't know if we can defend. I'm going to try though. Let's go for a Tesla. Hopefully the balloon is going to not kill us. Okay, we're kind of dead. Oh man, this is bad, okay. Well, actually, no, it's not bad, because half his tower is already gone on the right side. Alright, we should be okay still. I'm going to go for a Goblin Drill Evo, then we can also take the poison here. It's really not good to be in a 1-to-1 against Lava Hound, but we could still have a good chance. I mean, look at the drill go. Get a little bit more damage, please. Oh, no more. Okay, it's fine. Okay, man. <laughs> Lava Hound the pocket. I'll just Evo Tesla here. Going to have to Knight as well. We need to get our poison down ASAP. Okay, poison this. We can't really go for another Tesla, I feel like, so hopefully our stuff kills this. Ooh, that's kind of a bad Evo zap for him. I feel like his zaps are so bad right now. His zaps keep on resetting our towers onto the balloons. Alright, this is pretty good here. I'm going to go for the drill here, then also Demolisher the Pocket. I feel like Demolisher the Pocket is so broken sometimes if your opponent has no building or anything. We do get a little bit of damage. Okay, he's probably going to go for another Pocket Lava Hound, so I'm going to go for kind of an early Tesla. We could actually just try to go in here. I know he's going to hound, so I'm just going to go for the drill. Okay, now we also go for the pocket demolisher. He has, like, no elixir. Okay, he's not defending. He better not be able to defend this. I don't think he will be able to. Yeah, he's so dead. Easy win. After a nice win, I got too confident and made a big mistake. I think this guy is a sparky player, so I'll go a bit aggressive. We can go for the goblin construction and also the demolisher. He does run barbs normally, so if he tries to play them here, they will get wrecked. Oh, actually, it might be giant double prince. Okay, this could be... A little bit interesting. I don't know. Yeah, it has to be Giant Double Prince. Normally Giant is fine, but he does have Dark Prince too, which will make it a little bit harder to actually get any drill damage if he plays well. Hopefully he doesn't play well though. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like with the Evo Drill, you can pretty much always have a chance to break through. It's just pretty much impossible to ever stop a Evo Drill properly. Unless you have Bowler, but even against Bowler, sometimes I feel like it can get lucky and get quite a bit of damage too. I'll go for the drill on this side. We can also demolish her. He has no Dark Prince in Cycle, so I don't actually know how he's going to stop this. Okay, wait. He's trying to tower trade. Ooh, I don't know if we can defend here, guys. We might have messed up a little bit. Oh, this is bad. Now we cannot defend. 
Hopefully we don't get three crowned or anything at least. Oh, this is so bad. Really not good to be in a one-to-one -one situation in this type of matchup. It's going to make it way easier for him to kill our Teslas, but it's not really going to help us at all to be in this position. Hopefully Prince dies. Okay, perfect. Alright, we do have our Evo Drill at least, which could be pretty useful. But yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how we're going to actually defend well now. We still have a small chance, though. I feel like we have so many broken defensive cards in this deck. Pretty much every card in this deck is kind of broken. I'm going to go for the Demolisher at the bridge here, too. He's probably going to just Dark Prince or something. I mean, he has to, right? Ooh, nice Dynamite on the tower. Man, guys, I don't know how to feel about Demolisher now. It got quite a big nerf, but it still seems to be so broken in Goblin Drill. But I don't see it in too many other decks. Guys, he might Goblin Giant. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, no, oh, no. Kill that thing, kill that thing. No, please, please die, please die. Okay. I think we're chilling. We're pretty much even in damage right now. Not looking too good, though, because our King Tower is also a little bit unhealthy. I'm going to try to go for a bridge, I mean, pocket demolisher. You can see how good pocket demolisher is. Look at that, look at that. Look at all that damage. Come on, go. Boom. Let's go. Yeah, pocket demolisher is so good. All right. He's going to Goblin Giant for sure. We have to Evo Tesla. Hopefully, we can defend here. I feel like we should be able to, thanks to the Evo of our Tesla. Yeah, I think we should be able to defend. No, Prince, Prince, Prince. Okay, wait. Okay, we're winning. Because look, look at his tower. We have to just defend well now, though. We have to defend a bit and then try to go in and take out the whole tower. He's probably going to try to go for another Goblin Giant soon. <laughs> this man keeps on doing the same thing over and over. Just more pocket Goblin Giants. Just watch, watch. <laughs> I told you. Okay. Pull the Prince towards the middle, hopefully. Wow, that Goblin Giant just got melted. Okay. Gonna go for a knight here as well. We just need a couple bits of goblin damage and maybe one or two poisons, hopefully. Or a demolisher. Okay, actually, yeah, let's go for a demolisher here in the pocket again. Hopefully drill also causes him some issues. Oh, nice demolisher. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Yes. We get it. I was able to win by having a great sense of when to attack and when to defend. But soon enough, I ran into a deck that I was not going to enjoy facing. All right, we're already up against another Lucas, apparently. <laughs> that was pretty quick. Guys, let me know in the comments section, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty great myself. I just ran the San Francisco Half Marathon, as I told you guys about, and did a few other nice things recently, too. I've just been trying to also grow myself, not only physically, but also spiritually and stuff like that. And I was just thinking about stuff recently, like, ever since I did that San Francisco Half Marathon, I was also remembering some other races I did, like that 50-mile Ultra Marathon. And I just wanted to give you guys the message that, I mean, I know you probably hear it a lot, but I just want to say, if you want to do something but you're a bit unsure about it, but you know it's something you want to do, just do it, just do it. Because that race, I'm so proud of it now, like, I, I, I always think about it. Well, not always, but, you know, sometimes I think about it, and I'm just so proud of it. It's one of the things that I'm really proud that I did. And, you know, even my family didn't want me to do it. Well, my parents didn't didn't want me to do it. And a lot of my friends just thought that I couldn't do it. I'm sure a lot of them supported me too, but also quite a few thought I couldn't do it and stuff like that. But I still did it and I was able to do it. And yeah, I'm just so proud of it. And I had just so many great experiences there. I met so many nice people. I really hope to see them again someday. Maybe I'll run the race another time when it comes around this year, later this year, towards the end of the year. And yeah, maybe I'll see them again. So yeah, that's just all I wanted to say. I know you guys probably hear that kind of stuff a lot, but I just want to give you guys that message again. Alright, anyways. Mega Knight is pretty rough normally for a drill, but I feel like our version is actually really good, especially the Demolisher is so useful. Okay, I have to Knight here quickly. Alright, we should be good. Kind of have to waste our Tesla here. Hopefully we're going to be fine, though. Okay, I don't really trust these Evo Bats too much. Alright, they should die, they should die. I'll go for a drill at 4. He's not going to have the elixir for a Mega Knight, so this could actually be a very good drill for us here, hopefully. Oh, nice, Skelly Bro's going back. Very good damage, actually. Yes, yeah, so I feel like against Mega Knight, it's kind of hard to get much drill damage, but you have to be just really smart about when you time your things, because if you always waste your drill into the Mega Knight, that's obviously pretty bad, but if you're smart about stuff, you can do really well. Okay, we have to go for a really good Evo Tesla here. Nice, we do get our King Tower up as well, which is perfect. Demolisher's not running quite yet. 
Okay, this is pretty good here because we have our Evo Tesla, so I'll just go for the drill. I know he could go for a Mega Knight here, but our Evo Tesla is going to stay alive for some time and still defend whatever he plays here, so it should be fine. You just have to be very smart about when you're aggressive with this deck. You can be so aggressive as me, but you have to just be very smart about when you're actually going in. Because if you overcommit, you could be in pretty big trouble sometimes. Or sometimes you can get away with it because the defense is so broken out of this deck. Alright, I'll go for another drill here. Oh no, the Demolisher. All good though, I'll pre-poison too. Nice, beautiful. Oh, really good poison. Okay, we're definitely down quite a few elixir now, but at least our Tesla is still up, so... <laughs> we're gonna get some double Tesla action off here. I feel like our King Tower is gonna help out so much too. In these kinds of matchups, I feel like you really have to prioritize getting your King Tower up whenever you can. You can't always do it, but if you ever get an opportunity to do so, then definitely take it. Alright, Bats will get wrecked here, I think. Okay. So, we do have our Evo Drill now, and we could make a nice push here, but we have to be a little bit careful. Okay, I'm just going to go for a Knight here, then Demolisher the Bridge. The Demolisher will help us out here, because if he tries to Mega Knight, then the Demolisher is going to force out some Elixir. Okay, so he's going to have to respond to this Demolisher still. Wait a minute, can he actually... He can't defend. Wait, he's dead, he's dead. He's actually dead. Beautiful Demolisher. After a nice few wins, would I still be able to beat a deck full of Splash Cards with Goblin Drill? Alright, we're up against a Cherry. If I win, you guys have to like and subscribe. If I lose, I'll give you guys a cherry. <laughs> I don't even like cherries that much myself, to be honest. I mean, they're okay, but I feel like there's some better fruits. I like stuff like mango. Things like that. Alright, this guy could have eagle, and possibly. I'm not sure, though, because he does have bomber, too, which is kind of strange. Not too good to see, though, since we have goblin drill. Could actually be a mortar deck as well, maybe. I think it might be mortar. I feel like that's the only thing it really could be here. I'll go for a drill in the front. Man, guys, I feel like one of these days I'm going to play myself and try to give you guys a deal and then just end up getting wrecked. And I'll owe you guys something. <laughs> yeah, so okay, it's just going to be Mortar Bait. Probably with a Miner, I would assume. Unless he has like a crazy Graveyard or something. If he has Graveyard, we should be fine though. This deck is so solid, you have Poison for Graveyard. You can beat Hog Cycle, Piggy Cycle, you can beat pretty much anything really. Man, honestly, guys, Hog is so bad now, ever since Drill became meta. I feel like it's just so easy to beat Hog Rider with this deck. You pretty much can't lose it unless you make a really bad misplay. At least Hog Earthquake, that is. I'll Demolisher. Sure. Hopefully the Skelly King ability doesn't do too much here. I don't really want to waste my log on it, to be honest. I don't think he's going to have to respond to the Demolisher, sure, but we will see about that. Yeah, it does get <laughs> kind of wrecked. Sometimes if you're quick, though, you can actually get your Drill in front. And then tank for that running Demolisher, but it's kind of just a bit aggressive, so you have to be a bit careful. Alright, so the Tesla will counter what he plays here to counter our drill, which should be pretty nice for us here. Gonna be a few stabs. Guys, I don't know why, but everyone seems to be playing Cannoneer now, apparently. I really don't think I like it too, too much, but I don't know. A lot of people have been using it, I feel like. Not everyone, though. Maybe like half have been using it, or a little bit less than half. And then the other half Princess Tower. And then nobody Dagger Duchess. Maybe a couple people Dagger Duchess. Oh no, the Bomber! No! Okay, only one shot. We can actually activate our King Tower though, which is kind of worth it. Gonna Evo Tesla here. Hopefully Bomber does die. Man, the Evo Bomber always gets the extra shot against me for no reason. Evo Mortar won't get too much damage here. I feel like our Evo Drill actually might do a ton of work here. Cannoneer is so, so bad against Evo Drill. I really don't know why people run Cannoneer. Oh, the Demolisher! Yo, let's go! Yeah, I don't know why people run Cannoneer when Evo Goblin Drill is meta. Evo Drill is just insane. You guys really have to make sure you abuse this deck while it's still broken, because it's definitely going to get some sort of nerf sometime soon. Very nice poison value here. <laughs> we're just we're just destroying this guy. I'll go for another Drill. He has no Skeleton King quite in cycle. Okay, pretty quick log here, so should be a little bit of damage. Okay, never mind. It's all good though. He might try to spam a Mortar soon as well, so we do have to watch out for that. But I think we should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. King Tower is also really useful here. Once again. Gonna take a bit of chip, but nothing much, I think. Yeah, Demolisher should kill everything. I mean, guys, I just can't stress enough how broken Demolisher is on defense. It's like a wizard that also attacks very quickly. It does a little bit less damage, but it attacks so quickly. And it has, like, of course, the special offensive capability as well. Only for 4 Elixir. Wait, come on, go drill, go drill. Okay, we're going to get our Evo drill soon, and that's, I think, what we're going to need to win this game. 
His tower is already so low, there's no chance he's going to beat us here. I'll go for the knight. He's probably going to ability. And if he does, we get a nice Evo Tesla. Okay, free Evo Tesla. Man, I just love Evo Tesla. It's still so, so broken. All right, so... Yeah, all we have to do is Evo Drill. If he tries to defend here, he's just not going to be able to, no matter what he possibly tries to do against it. <laughs> Very fair card. Very fair card. Very easy win. Soon enough, I faced the number one ranked player with a certain archetype. Could I still keep the win streak going? Alright guys, I guess I earned your like and subscription. I might try this again on the very last day of this season, so we're going to face the very best players and the tension will be very much up there. We're currently up against the best Royal Giant player in the game. Royal Giant is usually a little bit difficult, but I feel like it really can go either way. Sometimes I get a pretty nice win against it, but other times you just can't do anything. So it's really going to depend. Yeah, there's the RG. I think this guy does run it with Fireball too. Not really sure if I rather would face Fireball or Void, because Fireball is going to be way better against our Demolisher, but if he had Void, it would, I guess, help a bit against our Tesla. So we'll see what happens here. Got us up with our Tesla. You have to be really careful in this matchup to not get outcycled, especially. That's the main thing that could mess you up. When they go for their RG in the back, you have to make sure you cycle your Tesla at the perfect time. Otherwise, you could either just have it lose most of its HP or you could get punished. Okay, this could be pretty bad here. We're kind of getting outcycled ourselves, but at least our King Tower is going to help out against the Ghost. Honestly, pretty bad start, but at least we're alive still. I feel like the King Tower is honestly not too bad to take in this matchup. It's pretty much useless against a lot of their cards, but when you face the ghost spam, sometimes the king tower can be helpful, so I feel like it's kind of worth it. I'll go for the drill here. We can also go for the demolisher. His cycle has to be kind of bad right now, I think, so it could be something. Okay, go demolisher. Uh, Oh, that almost pulled it, but look at the goblins poke the tower. Not bad, actually. I think it is good to go same lane in this matchup, because when you go same lane, you get so much poison value, and if you go opposite lane, you can't really do as much, so I think I do like this situation. He's probably going to try to make some huge double lane RG pushes, though, so we're going to have to be really careful that we cycle our cards in the perfect order. It's kind of easy to be too aggressive with this deck. Okay, I'm going to go in here. I know we're being super aggressive right now, but guys, I feel like this is calculated. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't cost us. <laughs> we'll see, though. You really just have to be so careful with when you actually decide to go in. Okay, please Demolisher. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Man, I love I love seeing the Demolishers connect to the tower. Just feels so nice to watch it do all that damage. Alright, we're not in a half bad spot now. I'll go for another drill. We can keep on being aggressive. If it's working, we might as well, you know, keep on doing the same thing. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible log. Demolisher's going crazy. Yes, okay. Night hit two. Two night hits. Okay, we just have to defend here. Okay, this could be a little bit of RG damage here, but I feel like we should be able to hopefully survive. I'm going to Tesla here. Honestly, Phoenix might respawn here, but I guess it's not the end of the world. He will get a lot of damage here, but nothing too, too crazy, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We need to go for a kind of late Evo Tesla here just to reset this RG. Okay, okay. Oh, there's the fireball. Uh, come on, kill that, kill that. Wait, hold up. That's a lot of damage. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have to just spam him. Gonna log this away. Should kill the fisherman. Perfect. Ghost should honestly almost die here. Oh, we got a goblin stab. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, ghost is already dead, basically. He could RG here, but it's gonna get wrecked by our demolisher. I'll just Evo drill. And he cannot defend our Evo drill. Okay, I think that's already a good game. Alright, nice wins, man. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!